My name is Gulsha Ozimer and I will be going over the long-term investment of Raft Lauren Corporation. With that said, I will be analyzing and evaluating Raft Lauren Corporation as a potential company that's worth being investment in by TechShield by looking through its advertising strategies, growth and innovations, and financial standings. Through iconic advertising tutorials in world-renowned fashion magazines and participating in prestigious fashion events, Ralph Lauren has managed to spread their branding across the world. In the fiscal year alone, Ralph Lauren has spent $280 million on advertising and promotions. These spendings were made on two major promotions, publishing print advertisement in Vogue magazine and being the only U.S. Olympic parade outfit from 2008 till 2020. Vogue is a well-known American lifestyle and fashion magazine that gets published in over 20 countries across the globe. Unlike Ralph Lauren, Vogue's target consumers are also the upper and middle class elite, which makes this magazine a perfect source to advertise Ralph Lauren products in. So through publications in Vogue, Ralph Lauren accomplishes to attract attention from all over the world and gain consumers' desire to support the brand name. Ralph Lauren Corporation partnered up with the U.S. Olympic Committee in 2008 to be their official parade outfitter. This contract will last until 2020. As shown in the graph behind me, while Ralph Lauren got a boost during the 2012 London Games, which helped them with a 3.3% gain during the two weeks of competition, the U.S. Olympic Committee will also make profit by gaining a royalty of about 10% from the sale of any items featuring the Olympic seal. Therefore, it can be concluded that this partnership will financially benefit both parties. Ralph Lauren has been expanding its company by creating subsidiary brands such as Polo Ralph Lauren, Club Monaco, Ralph Lauren Purple Label, and many more. These brands have increased the company size as well as its sales revenues throughout the years. The growth of subsidiary brands has led to more flagship stores to open up internationally. And along with increased flagship stores, Ralph Lauren has also invested in more retail and wholesale locations, which has helped increase net sales for the brand. As can be seen from the graph behind me, 50% of net revenues came from direct retail channels, in which Macy's is the biggest contributor, while 45% came from wholesale within major department stores during the 2016 fiscal year. Alongside increasing the number of physical store locations, Ralph Lauren launched a watch collection in 2009, which eventually led to a 4.2% increase in gross revenue growth rate. Overall, Ralph Lauren's growing physical stores, along with increased investments in retail and wholesale stores, suggests a higher annual net sales for the company. Looking at Ralph Lauren's income statements of 2016, it is evident that the company did comparably worse in 2016 than the previous years. Although the company had a total revenue of 7.4 billion US dollars, its overall net income after taxes was 396 million US dollars in 2016. This is a major downfall from the previous years where the net income surpassed 700 million dollars. However, the drastic changes in these numbers reflect the changes that are currently being made to the company's long-term growth strategy, which is to put an in fact a, a turnaround plan. This turnaround plan has been adopted by the new CEO, Stefan Larsson, due to a decrease in the performance of the company in the last few years. However, the turnaround plan is being put into use in hopes of increasing the company's profits in the long run. Ralph Lauren's advertising strategies, growth and innovations, and financial standings showcase the validity of the company's dignified success, which leads to the conclusion that this company is worth being invested in for the long term by TechShield.